Hi, welcome back. I am coming out of the Point Noir Airport and going towards the hotel. Uh, Gavin from my company has come with his vehicle to pick me up. So what strikes you immediately is the cleanliness of the place. Yes, no lumps of garbage, no pollen bags floating around. Things are in order, you know. The last time I was here, the roads weren't so nice. Now the roads are good. A lot of buildings have come up. A lot of changes. Yeah, but traffic be traffic smooth flowing yeah. and then people respect the other guy. So you go in a very smooth fashion, well like a well oiled machinery. It's a left hand uh, driving country and uh, those blue color cars are basically taxis and uh, the one on the right that you saw was a public transport kind of thing. Um, you don't find any buses here. Of course, there are buses, but then uh, when it comes to public transport, it's more about those mini buses and uh, these taxis. These taxis charge anywhere like uh, 1000 sifa, which means about 100 rupees uh, for a 4 to 5 kilometer trip. So it's very affordable to say the least. Uh, Congo being rich in oil resources, uh, petrol and uh, diesel are uh, usually at a lower rates. Petrol costs about uh, 65 rupees here and uh, diesel costs almost around 55 rupees. French uh, petroleum giant uh, Total EP is a major player in the oil and gas industry here. On the roads you find mostly bigger vehicles like SUVs, pickup trucks, uh, you don't find smaller cars uh, and Toyota is a dominant brand here. There are very few buses on the road but even if you see spot one it will be an Ashok Lyland an old Ashok Lyland oh, look at the clear sky blue sky uh, this is a month of monsoon here which means monsoon is basically from November to February and uh, the, the coldest months are in the month of June to August though it's the season of monsoon it doesn't rain heavily so uh, rain is very moderate, it comes on and off and during the night it definitely drizzles a lot, but drizzles, that's it. Whether it is monsoon or summer or winter, temperature is almost, it, it ranges like from 20 to 30, it doesn't go above 30. So it's very pleasant. The paintings on the wall, they're good. Along the roads you'd find a lot of guys uh, with small kiosks and uh, even under an umbrella with a table and a chair all of them sell uh, the recharge cards of uh, you know mobiles airtel is one of the major player here these guys are good at observing traffic rules you don't find them jumping you know signals they just go very smoothly maybe one reason is because there's no much traffic here the traffic is very manageable the distance from the airport to my hotel is about 5 to 6 kilometers. So it should take about uh, 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, this guy is doing push ups. Despite Congo being near the equator, the sun doesn't shine so bright here. It's very moderate and it remains pleasant throughout even during the summer season.
He has already fixed the schedule for me. Afternoon 3 o'clock for an induction with Peranco Oil Company. And then tomorrow 7 o'clock, medicals. There you are, the building on the right. That's the hotel I'm going to stay in. Cactus Hotel and Restaurant. With, of course, a bar. Now, this hotel is on the main road of Point Noir. Therefore, access to interesting places, very easy. A lot of timber has been used in the construction. The Congo is as such rich in its natural resources, especially forest. Oh, some lovely paintings adorn the walls. The lobby and the walkway, they aren't spacious, but they are spread out in a very beautiful way. The door on the right, that's my room. The main lobby is actually on the first floor. The front reception is a very narrow one. This is a place where people can sit, talk. Okay, welcome to my room. All happen. There is a small cozy room with the windows opening to the street below. This is a major road of uh, Point Noir, something like the MG road that we have in India. There's a nightclub and an ice cream parlor just opposite to the hotel, to my room actually. And this is the restaurant Kambar on the ground floor. And here are some more glimpses of Point Noir. She's got local mid country liquor as well, along with cigarettes and other things to go. And this is the junction of our hotel with a bank in front. A school. And the Airtel office in the front. Oh, that's an Indian restaurant, Jaipur uh, restaurant and bar. The Indian presence is not huge, but they have few business establishments here. I also took a taxi to the local marche or the local market. The market is called as marche, just to see how things are there. And uh, well, it wasn't any different from any other markets that you see elsewhere. You got fishes, then vegetables, groceries, uh, waters, and everything. Everything you get here. It's a pakka local market, and you can just see it. All kinds of stuff, all kinds of people. You just name it, you get it here. Electronics, clothes. Oh, the women, they just wear colorful dresses and stand out in the crowd. Beautiful. Oh, the fruits and vegetables, they're also equally colorful. Bright and big so that's it i just finished the market and then uh, went back to the hotel but uh, all in all it's a very cool place point noir and very friendly people and it's very safe also that's the end of my very short trip here so ciao and have a nice time